When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Previously on Sailing Catalpa, we leave Pancake Creek and head to Fitzroy Reef. Coming into Fitzroy Reef Lagoon is best on high tide. There is a bommy to avoid in the middle and the entrance is the shape of a dog leg to get in. Once you're in there though, there are very few shallow bommies to avoid and anchoring is pretty easy. The depth is about seven metres. We had a bit of wind for our time here, but sunshine every day. We had some beautiful dives and snorkels and found the best and most alive part of the reef was around the entrance of the lagoon. And drawing the paper, your perfect scene. And tell me, does it include me? And am I hiding in the back of your dreams? Or in the coffin of your memories? Don't try and hide it, or try and bite it. Just take my hand and we'll bite the lightning. And some of the things you find don't look good for me. I use my tears to plant a tree. The boys got some fishing in and caught enough reef fish to feed us for the next few days. happened to my bread tin from uh, I don't know where actually I think I may have thrown it out because it got rusty but I do miss it that's all right we've been living off bread rolls but I thought I could make some bread, bread. we are leaving Fitzroy Reef where are we going mast head so we headed off from Fitzroy Reef Lagoon, met up with Say No More here again and headed towards another island out of the Capricorn Bunker Group in Queensland, Australia, Mast Head Island. Sailing along pretty nicely, honey. What speed are we going? Oh, uh, we're sitting on around six to seven knots. Six to seven so knots. About Eleven knots of wind, and we're on a broad reach. We're aiming for hoping for a Spanish. Not too big, something maybe. Yeah, we need side. a Spanish. We've been indulging in reef fit at the moment, so but we've run out. Nice little bit of pelagic. Indulging, but they're all gone. They're all gone. They're all gone. We're actually fishless, foodless. So, well, this is when you're hoping that it goes off. Exactly. All else fails. Uh, masthead will have a little fish around there tonight. 
Yeah, we got plenty and, of food. Uh, pick up a couple of rapies. We got beans. We got chickpeas. Yum. <laughs> I can make hummus. That's yum. That's good. Tell us a story. You have your chickpeas, and I'll have a nice big piece of porterhouse steak with a mushroom gravy on top. Oh. You didn't have any of that. Oh, it's been like <laughs> months at sea and I'm starting to crave. No, it hasn't. It. It's honestly, uh, we've been gone for five weeks from our last start, which was Sunshine yeah, Coast. a month and a half by the time we get to port. So we've about six weeks, we, our stocks have lasted us, which is pretty good. Yeah, so there's things we've learnt. We've learnt that you can buy powdered eggs. Didn't know that. We've learnt that you can get powdered milk. I did know that, but we didn't think we needed it, but we do. Uh, what else is there? Stocking up on just the important things. We've got plenty of rice. And noodles, rice noodles. I went to the Asian grocers and stocked up on their bulk things. So that was good. We'll survive. We had a laxa last night that was really Flour, nice. rice. Okay, how good was that laxa? Oh, it was amazing. There was some, what was it, trevally? Actually trevally. Yeah, and, uh, some trevally tastes like chicken. It was beautiful. It's got the right texture to do yeah. that. Yeah. Had some frozen veggies. I had some tinned bean sprouts in there. What else are we having there? It was really good. It was yum. You get pretty creative. Why do it? I like it. Anyway. I like the challenge. It's like um, they have very little ingredients and they go make a meal. I like it. It's fun. I won't know what to do when we've got lots of food. So we're just sailing along and I'm in the kitchen because it's lunchtime and I just thought I'd show you what uh, one of the meals, this is a very easy thing to do or this is usually what I make when we're going on a little bit of a passage. We only got a short sail today but um, I made some rice last night and then I just chopped up some veggies to put them um, all the fresh veggies we had and then some frozen veggies in there. A bit of garlic, soy sauce, whatever else I can find, some onion. Made some fried rice. And then we've got our last of our spring rolls in the oven. So spring rolls and fried rice for lunch. Happy with that girl? Bella's starving. <laughs> I think we've still got a couple of hours till we get to our next stop. But... It's pretty nice down here cooking today. It's not, not on a lean where things aren't flying around. It's, it's very doable. It's, it's jumping around, is it only little? Uh oh, it's going under. Whiten as quick as you can when it comes up because it's skimming across the top of the water. There it goes, one, one, one. Go. I don't know. Well, hurry up, it's heavy. Ah! <laughs> Hold it up so I can see it. Hold on, we might let it go, mate. Right? Oh. It's heavy. Okay, I need to. Um, Daddy, I don't want it to be. Oh. Hey, the bridge's like, wow! Oh. He's out of there! Bye, fishy! I don't like fishy. to gaff them if we don't need to. Oh, I've got to make sure it doesn't come out of there. What have we got, Bella? Oh, there it is. Oh, look at that. Beautiful bait for like maybe a marlin. Okay, Another Max Tuna boot. Okay. There's a bonita. What is it? Bonita? It's even little. Is it a bonito? I think we should let it go. It's, not... it's a bonito. It's like a baby. It still has its whole life. Oh, it's still got its whole life ahead of him, Daddy. Ah, no, this one's been gutted. Has it? Got it in. I think we'll keep it in bait. 
clicks on the autopilot that way. So we just put the engine on because we're coming into Marshead Island, which is our stop for the night, and Lee's rod just started screaming. Big fish though. Fish. I'm thinking it's probably... Oh. It doesn't gonna, matter, that's a thick Spanish. It's going to spool you. Oh. I'll keep watching. Do you want to go to the right a little bit? Oh, can't even slow him up. I'm getting in like 10 metres, it's taking 100. <laughs> How are we looking on that chart screen? They're not heading. Oh, just got off. Lost him. That was a big fish. Oh, man. That just took off like crazy. Oh, no. He's stealing. Oh, you turn that off, I'm going to cry. <laughs> They're the biggest fish I've had on this boat so far. Put it out again. Get it out there already! Man, that was a big fish. It, it took so much line off, we weren't even moving quick. Oh, oh, breaks my heart. Oh, baby. Spat it. Took a big run and just gone. You know what? I've got to have one more little go at that. <laughs> so here's Marshead Island. It's low tide, so there's a lot of exposed reef. We're going to come around the other side to the anchorage. Hopefully, another fish gets on because Lee is absolutely devastated right now. <laughs> Are you putting both out? <laughs> I don't think we're going to anchor, I think we're going to be doing laps of yeah, the there's island. There's laps out here. <laughs> That's like the best fish I've had on Catalpa. It's, oh man. He's Just a powerful. It could have been what I hope it wasn't, like a big wahoo. Because it really just peeled the line off that reel. Like, there's no slowing it down. And we weren't even moving. We are only doing like a knot or two. Baba. Oh well. Try again. Plenty of fish in the sea. That's what they say. I can't believe that big one still. It's been about 15 minutes and Lee's still bummed about that fish. He keeps saying, I can't believe, I can't believe I lost it. I wonder what it was. Yeah, curiosity after such a big loss like that. I'd... I just don't feel right. He's got the rod out, you never know. Just got to get around this corner and we're at our anchorage, but a lot can happen between there and now. Not really, destination, straight ahead. Oh. Okay, autopilot. Quick, 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 quick. Oh, Okay, turn that way. Turn to the port, uh, starboard, sorry. <laughs> okay, make sure you're in neutral, yeah? Yeah. yeah okay, just, what I want to do is just turn me side onto it. Beautiful, Belle. That's it. What is it? Oh! Second chance here. Don't drop it! Don't blow it, baby! I've got my reel that's ready to go in the bin. <laughs> Doesn't even have a like, clutch on it anymore. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Come on, fishy. Hey guys, so that was episode 31. Thanks heaps for watching. Uh, we're currently sailing along just uh, opposite Whit uh, Whitehaven Beach, the Whit Sundays. We're heading to Airlie Beach tonight and uh, we're going to just be there for the night and then we're going to head towards Townsville tomorrow. So. Thanks so much for your patience. Um, I know we haven't uploaded a movie for a bit over a week. We've been out of reception for about two weeks, but we did manage to climb uh, up to the top of one of the islands and Percy. get yeah, Middle Percy Island, and we were able to upload a movie. But I didn't check any comments. I didn't 
I didn't read any emails, so I apologise if you've um, tried to contact us. We've kind of been out of service for a little while. We still are. We're hoping there. Yeah, we still are. <laughs> we're hoping we get on the other side of with Sunday Island. We can get a bit of reception. Yeah, we've got no phone reception or anything. Yeah. But so we're just cruising today around the other side. Um, just want to say a massive thank you to our patrons that keep supporting us. Um, we love you and are so grateful for your continue, continued support. If we have any new ones, we don't know because we haven't looked. <laughs> if we have any new patrons, thank you so much and uh, welcome. I hope you're enjoying our, our movies and they, there's heaps. I've got heaps done and heaps to upload so we may like, upload a few this week. So to continue following us, um, other than YouTube, you can go to our Facebook page, Sailing Catalpa, or we're on Instagram, uh, at Sailing Catalpa, so. That's it, say yeah. something. Oh, you've said it all. I did say it all, I'm a bit of a, <laughs> I was being Hogging a hog. It. He didn't know what I was doing, I just came and put the camera in his yeah. face. No, I was just trying to dodge a reef at the same time, but anyway, <laughs> we've just, oh. just got around it. But yeah. Thanks everyone for watching. We love you. Until next time. Ooh. Bye. Okay, ready, set, go. Okay. We're leaving Australia. Once we get to the top of Australia, we're going to Indonesia. That's out of this country. Mum and Dad don't know what to do. So any recommendations of tips and stuff and leave them in the comments below. Down below. Until next time. Yeah. Thanks See you for later. joining. Sailing Catalpa. Out. To say